Hello, I'm Mr. David DePoy, Brookfield High School undergraduate. My name is Ralph Schatz, Brookfield High School undergraduate. We'd like to welcome you here today to the fascinating world of sports psychology, the truly lost art. Sports psychology is an interdisciplinary study of psychological factors, participation, performance, and success in sports. All good athletes know that there are four crucial aspects to performing well in sports, and those are the tactical aspect, the technical part, the psychological part, and the physical part. To improve your physical game, you would simply hire a trainer. Tactical or technically, you would hire a coach. However, for the psychological part of the game, a sports psychologist is necessary, and it is their mission to improve health, performance, and overall happiness in sports. Once a truly qualitative practice pre-1920s, which would only involve behavioral observation and advice giving, it eventually developed into a qualitative and statistical practice. In modern sports psychology, measurements of time and other statistics are controlled and treated by researchers, which entails many methods. Rather than working with the technique of a runner, a sports psychologist would work with the reaction time of a runner, a more mental than physical process. Additionally, he might try to understand an athlete's thinking about how or why he or she runs. A 64-year-old man runs a 100-mile long-distance run and crosses the finish line. A reporter, dazzled by his abilities, comes up and asks him, How did you do such a tremendous feat at your age, 64 years, 100 miles? And he responds, I didn't run 100 miles. I ran one mile, 100 times. Sports psychologists motivate athletes to try and want to succeed in sports by bringing joy to an athlete's experience. If you're not having fun at what you're doing, you will not get the most out of it. A sports psychologist may even use the method of directly controlling an athlete's daily routine and life. What this involves is spontaneity and it you know, it takes away the monotony of doing the same task over and over again. It sharpens focus and enhances abilities. Set goals, but don't let them defeat you. This quote was said by arguably the most important and essential sports psychologist of this era. And that bird. All in all, sports psychologists rely heavily on the method of clearing the athlete's mind, enabling them to focus and relax. In turn, harmony between body and mind is achieved. Coleman Roberts Griffith was the pioneer of applied sports psychology. As an American professor of psychology at the University of Illinois, Griffith began the development of sports psychology as a practical and important aspect of every person's life. Griffith supported the resulting health improvements by the involvement in sports, a direct result of the ideal psyche. According to Griffith's research, sports ecology not only enhances performance, but lifestyles as well. And now, we take you to a real-life case study of a basketball player at Brookfield High School applying sports psychological methods to his gameplay. Now, Let's enter his mind. Hello? 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 I'm so tired. I have to make this. Focus. Visualize. Visual. This is going to go in. in. Yes. yes. Fine. I have to do something else. Okay, okay. Get the ball. ball. Well, there you have it. Sports psychology clearly is the study of the relationship between body, mind, performance, and the beyond. Experience the power of conceptual understanding. I'm David DePoy. And I'm Ralph Schatz. And this wraps up our episode today. 
sports psychology, a lost art.